Tools for Guys here. Just a, uh, another uh, video in our series of uh, portable generators. We want to talk today about what can your generator power? Um, so a lot of times, depending on where you live, for us in South Texas, you want to figure out, hey, how do I size my generator? What size should I get? And what does it power? That's uh, a good so, point, Brad. Let me interrupt. For example, my generator is rated 3,300 watts. Running watch is 1,500 watts. How do I figure out how much 1,500 watts is on appliances? Usually the number. It says 1,500. Yeah, but how do, how do I know what? Ah, got it. That's where we use this this device here. It's called a kill a watt. Uh, we got probably the uh, Amazon version. I'm not sure what it's called, actually. Uh, but we're going to talk about how much watts each device uses. And then, of course, what de which devices do you normally want to power? The most common one, again, in South Texas is normally a fan an AC unit, possibly a fridge, normal size fridge, and we're gonna have a deep freezer as well. So as we go into this, uh, those are the devices. If you want specific devices on what, how many watts a certain device uses, drop a comment, let us know what device you want us to test. You don't have to go out and buy it. We can we'll, also, we'll, we'll test it for you. We can also drop a, there'll be a link in the description with some common household items and the average uh, watt usage as well. There we go. That's right, for you taking guys, you just go to, hey Siri, please give me an appliance watch chart, <laughs> and it'll give you the chart, and you can read it right there. But we're gonna do it hands on right now. We're gonna say, hey Ruben and Brandon, please give me the wattage, thank you. Okay, <laughs> first of all, Brandon, you know this thing has a little label in the back, right? I do. Can and you? I do not care what it is. <laughs> can you show it to the audience just in case they care? I can. Now, oh, come on, Brad. Let them see. Let them see. They're excited. They're interested. They're curious. So if you're wondering what those numbers mean, so are we. But this is what they want you're actually looking for, the and amps. That, there, as you can see, nowhere does it say watts, but it does say 0.4 amps. So we're going to use that number here in a little bit. And if you know math, we don't. But <laughs> if you do, uh, you can look on Google. Amps times volts is watts. So this is a normal uh, 110 appliance. By the way, if you don't want to do that, you can just get a... Watt meter. Awesome. What is it you say? A watt meter. <laughs> okay. So for this 0.4 amps, again, where this is normal household current, so AC is going to be 110 volts. So 1.4 times 110, 44 watts. So this fan, normal tower fan. And you said we <laughs> don't do math. Uh, <laughs> because that's the new math. Okay, so. <laughs> Here's my uh, actually power from the wall outlet right now. That's what we're doing for this test run. And I'm gonna plug in. So the way these watt meters work, take a normal extension cord or plug it right into a wall. You're plugging it right before the extension cord and then you plug whatever device through here. Right, and you can see it looks just normal like everything like you said. So I'm gonna plug in the fan just like if I was plugging it into a wall outlet and we got power. Now this little uh, gadget here. So you fans. said 44, you were doing the calculation. Yeah. So it's actually 47, so, so our math was slightly off. Our math is actually perfect. This is why I could care less what this says. I wanna know what it's actually doing. Because that number can vary based on the condition of the little motor there, yep. right? It can be old, True. whatever. Yep. Or, no, good call. Hey, good call. It's because it's not in the middle. So but this should be fairly accurate, okay? So again, it's a function. Uh, I like this little gadget here. That's how many kilowatt hours. We haven't run it that much, so it's not zero run point. Uh, that's the voltage, 123.9 volts. So typically 110, 120, it can vary. There's the amps, 0.376. Ah, close to 0.4. That's very good. Wow. That, that's what's on there. So that means that 0.37 amps is equivalent to about, what did we say, how many watts? 0. 4. We said that it's equivalent oh, 40, to 47 yeah. watts. Yep. Now this little meter also shows me the high wattage, okay? Because some, like the air condition, which we're gonna show in a little bit, okay? Right. It can, when it starts up, we'll have maximum watts. Yeah, you can back up now. So the reason why the high, the reason why the high wattage is important is because a lot of portable generators, they have two numbers. Uh, for my dad's generator, uh, his is actually 3,300. That's the running watts and the peak watts or the surge of starting 30, watts. 3,700 watts. 3,700 watts. So it's good to know, it's good to have a meter like that that gets both function, both the high and the running. So that way you can know, okay, well, what's my peak watts? Uh, so with the peak watts, you got, we had a uh, 40, no, no more running watts is 46.5. 
and the peak watts high what did you ask me 47.2 yeah, 47 mm -hmm. so because it's a small motor it's gonna be about the same all right running watts peak watts all right so when you get an air condition com uh, refrigerator freezer they have compressors and those compressors well, let's see them let's do it let's see it do that so uh what are we gonna do we're gonna add uh now we're just going to kick this one off and let's see what the air condition. Let's do this, Dan. Let's do one by one and then we'll have a surge protector and we'll put them all in the same one so we can see the numbers build up. Dan, I like. Okay, let's do it. Let me unplug this. I'm going to reset this. Nice. Little pointed object to reset there. Okay. It has a little reset button in gotcha. your paper clip or some kind of pointed object. Okay. okay. And it goes to zero. All right. All right. We're going to plug in their air condition. Yes. And this, what's the size of this AC so unit? This is a uh, Toshiba 5000 BTU. Got it from Lowe's, 150 bucks. Um, again, for most people, they just want to do the bare necessities and be comfortable during a power outage. This this is not going to cool down your whole home. This is a normal window unit. So maybe um, one room. So it's going to do probably about a 10 by 10, maybe 10 by 12 kind of uh, uh, square footage as far as a room. Okay. So definitely that's enough to sleep comfortable, which is the most important, especially during the summer season, right? And what I also want to say, because I have a small generator, 3,300 watts, and I want an air conditioner, it has to be a small one. If right. I have uh, one of those big window units, that's not gonna work, okay? Right. So again, uh, Brandon doesn't wanna show you, but I'm gonna show the crowd right here. You can come a little close. There's all the labeling. It won't say in watts, it gives you BTUs. It does give you the running amps, 3.48. Okay, so we're going to look at that in a minute and see uh, what it says. Pretty sure we just started right, right now. now. <laughs> Are we good to go? We're good to go. Brandon's going to crank it up. We're going to look at the watch right here while he's working. So we're going to start on low cool and low fan. So no compressor right now, just the fan. As you can see, when it kicked on, you saw it high is about 80 something. Yep. Right. And we can go through the functions and it'll give us our, our right now it's just running. 60 yep if i want to go through the functions let me go to the uh, high on wattage there's the low which is running right now it went as high as 77. okay but it's on low speed right like and that. fan only right now it's our right. fan only hold on let's go to normal watts that's what it's running about 60 watts so we're gonna do a just like a little fan high fan it's not going to change too much remember fans themselves do not take that much power that's why we can run ceiling fans all the time. Now we're gonna go to low cool. Now because it's fairly cool in here, the compressor may not kick on. So we'll see in a second here. So I just turned it from min cool to max cool. I heard there the compressor kick oh, on. There we the go. The compressor just kicked on. 290, 315 watts, 338. It's, that's about the peak. All right, all right. so running watts. There's where it's at, 340. Okay, let's go through the function, Brandon. Yep. See what it said about the amps, remember? Let's see. So let's go look for the amps. There's the voltage. Close to three. Amps, okay. Close to three amps right now. And I think it had said it's about 3.4, so it's still not pulling full load. It's still on low cool. Okay, that's why. What's your high? So What's now we're going to do it to high let, cool. Let me go to watts, because that's the one we're kind of tracking here. All right. That's on the low. Oh, sorry. Here we go. Let's get these are running watts 350. Yeah, let's go to the high to see what it kicked on when it surged. All right, 350 so far has been the highest. All right, so now we're gonna go to high cool, max cool, and high cool. So the compressor's already on, so it didn't really do too much. Really. It's just high fan, high cool. And there's a wattage that is normally running, keeping in mind that it's going to max out. So if you have a larger air conditioner, the surge is going to be much higher and it can actually trip your generator. Okay, and those are the things that we look for. So I think that's about it, Brandon. We can run through this here right quick one more time. This is the watt running watch right now, 357. Uh, we've used uh, that much kilowatts right now, that much power. That's the total power we have used. As of now, this is my voltage, 122, 3.0 amps. Remember we read on here that it had amps on there at 3 point something? Yep. Okay. It didn't have watts, but now we know about how many watts it's using. Uh, we had 
a high of 361 watts, right? Yep. And right now it's using, it's maxed out. It's maxed out, yep. Two watts. Okay. What next? We're gonna go we'll do the, fridge. Let's do the fridge. All right, we're going to do a refrigerator. How about the freezer? Yeah, do a fridge. Okay. We're going to go to that. All right, let's do it. I'm going to turn this one off, or you're going to plug it. Okay. So now we're gonna we're gonna show the a fridge a refrigerator a refrigerator <laughs> a fridge or a refrigerator a, a refrigerator. <laughs> All right, so let's. Are we gonna put? I'm trying to check if it's a fridge or what? Yeah, it, it is a fridge and a freezer. I just want to know. So look. So you're trying to test out. Your portable generator and what you get, right? Yes. Dad likes to read the label. Uh -huh. Well, Dad, come read that. Oh, come, re come read the label. Come read the label right now without having to take the. Brandon doesn't though. Right. Come on, say, come read the label. It's in the back. Yeah, I don't want to. Yeah, I don't want to pull it out yet. Right. That's why you get. Yeah. This. And you want to say that? <laughs> you want to say that? I feel, I feel like you're. We are you're saying it. We're on camera right now. Oh. All right, so we're gonna see now the refrigerator watts. All right. Well, it depends where you are in South Texas. It's called a refrigerator. Most people call it a fridge or a refrigerator. <laughs> you know, that's me. We used to call it an ice box. Remember that? <laughs> no. All right. No, 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 we don't remember that. So. All right. So. Aaron. So I'm gonna be the tester this time. But can you find the label of the the watts and everything, the amps? No, because usually um, they're probably going to have it in the back. You can stop. It's in the back. It's not a car. It's not a VIN number. On the <laughs> so this is why sometimes there are certain appliances that are, are harder to find what, you know, with the label, uh, with the voltage and the amp. So that is, again, another reason why that watt meter is really, really <laughs> helpful. All right. So we're going to test the refrigerator now. <clears throat> All right. Let's see if we can get it to cycle. Okay, you, don't, you want to show the show the camera? No, what's back here? All right, so we want to get to see what the a fridge, a refrigerator, a refrigerator, a fridge. It just depends on what part of the country you're from. <laughs> South right. Texas is a refrigerator. So let's see what the wattage here is for a refrigerator. Nothing yet it hasn't turned on. I mean, it's the lights and on inside but it hasn't the uh what is it called brandon compressor thank you the compressor has not turned on oh i hear something okay jump to 179 181 184 yeah so about 183 Wow, I expected more. All right, so now we're gonna do a deep freezer, correct? Yes. Deep freezer, all right, let's check out the wattage. All right, so one that... Ooh, Ooh. 220, that's it, I would have expected more. Wow, it jumped to 228 and 123, okay. All right, so deep. So basically, it jumped. What was the high? Well, we That's a good that. question, Jason. The low was four. Okay. That's running. Oh, that's, that's high. No, the high. Well, I guess high running, but we saw the surge. It was around 250. Yeah. And the running is about 120, 125 or so, 124. Yeah. And that's for a deep freezer. What size deep freezer? <laughs> All right, that big, about to, to about Brandon's waist. If to I, about Brandon's waist. Yes, get out of the way. Uh, three by three by one. What is that? Three cubic feet. There you go. All right. Three awesome. Point, three point six cubic feet. All right. So wrap it up here, just to kind of figure out exactly again, if you're looking for what type what? of generator, what watts. size of generator. Oh, what? Okay, sorry. So free. <laughs> Uh, so what size of generator? What do I need to run on my generator? Um, how to figure out the wattage. Again, the kilowatt meter that we had somewhere around here. <laughs> Pops is going to go get that thing. So we Pops can show is going to get the props. 
So Pops on props. The kilowatt, kilowatt <laughs> meter, one of these guys, Amazon, 20 bucks or less. Um, it'll tell you exactly how many watts each device is pulling. Uh, as you saw for the um, uh, refrigerator, 180. 180 watts. <laughs> <laughs> so the fan, it was 47 watts. Yep. Uh, what, um, the refrigerator. No, I did uh, The AC, <laughs> the AC, sorry, the AC was 350 actually. That's uh, a lot. The deep freezer was 125. And whatever that number is adds up to 522 plus 180 is go 702. Yes, all right, 702 watts. So depending on the size of the generator um, that you're looking at, 702 watts is what you need as far as running watts. When it comes to calculating your peak watts, you need to take the well. Some recommendations are allow three times your normal running watts for your surge or peak watts, as some people call it. Yep. Good to go. And so our biggest surge was probably the AC, and it had a peak surge of. Well, we, we couldn't read we that. We couldn't read that. That that the watt meter. That's one thing that the watt meter. Well, we saw it, and it was. I don't think we. We, we did see one. it. It was about seven hundred peak watts. So oh, we, we did see that. Eight hundred. Yeah, it was uh, quick. Maybe um, we did see it. Yep. So we'll go back to the video on that and see. <laughs> so keep in mind that a surge actually happens in less than a second. Okay, and that is one of the reasons when you add all your appliances together, you basically take the surge of the biggest appliance or the appliance that was Which we did the with surge, the AC. And that's one of the things that you size uh, your generator for. So let's say we added all our appliances and they added to what, 700, 700 watts, <laughs> three times that. Okay. 2100. Whoa. 2100. <laughs> so Six. the 700 plus the. 2100 is 2800. Mm -hmm. So you need a generator like small, like the one I have, and you can get by. All right? Yep. You start adding air conditioner. Because what generator do you have that? Uh, I have a 3300 3, 3, peak watts, 3700. But anyway, <laughs> it runs all that stuff. So, what we'll, I'll do at the end of this video is actually show um, kind of some of the different wattages. Uh, for some of the different appliances so you can kind of get an estimate. Right. And yeah. we'll have a link in the description. Links, uh, pictures, uh, pretty much uh, whatever we need. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Right, that's it. See you, you next time. All right. Any questions whatsoever, please let us know. We'll, we'll respond or make a video on it if we need to. Absolutely. All right. All right. Y'all take care now.